Okay, we're going to learn how to solder a tiny little JST connector to our tiny little 130 milliamp hour battery. Um, so here's an example of the one that I've already done. Um, the solder connections are underneath this heat shrink. Um, and we can just check to see that this is working using our voltmeter as we did in class last time. We'll take this and connect our um, pins to the, uh, here we go, and there you can kind of see, we've got about four volts, um, this thing probably is not charged, uh, oh, should be 3.7, so we had a little bit more than that, so whatever, you know, it's not a super high quality battery, but it's close enough. Um, so how do we solder this up? Well, we're gonna start with our um, uh, battery. We're gonna put this in our helping hands. We'll start with uh, just the black wire here, that one out of the way. And we're going to Use the JST connector that came with our ESP32. We're going to hook this up as well. Uh, notice that we're not hooking up the battery by clamping the battery because uh, we don't want to compromise the structural integrity of the LiPo battery, uh, which would cause it to blow up. So instead, we'll just plug in the uh, two black wires and we're going to line them up like this. And we're going to take our soldering iron, turn that on. Um, ah, and before we do that, we're going to use some of this heat shrink. This heat shrink is actually, tubing is a little too big for us, for our purposes, but it still works. It's close enough. Cut off a little piece of that. Cut it even smaller, actually. Is that going to be big enough? That was too small. This size will work. One will be okay. And we'll cut another piece for the red one. We can be a little generous with that. That's what we'll use for the red one. And grab my solder. And all I need to do now is connect these two. So nothing super great here. Just trying to get the two wires to line up and then we're going to apply the solder and get them connected. Mm, that looks close enough. And we'll put the solder there. Feed in some solder. And just test it, pull it a little bit. Looks good. This doesn't need to be a strong mechanical bond because we should not be putting any tension on the power wires. So it just needs to be enough that you can tug at it. Now I'll uncover my positive lead on the battery, hook up our other JST connector, I'll rotate this one around, a little easier for me to see, there we go. Those look like they're connected pretty close. Same idea. Just kind of feed some solder into this. Don't want to spend too much time with the hot soldering iron on that battery lead. I don't want to heat up the battery. That would not be good. Oh, I forgot to put on the um, heat shrink. All right, I'll just heat this up, pull them apart. 
put on my heat, heat shrink tubing. Eventually we're gonna shrink that heat shrink and create a nice solid, uh, nice isolated connection here. And we'll just do this again, unconnected, oops. That wasn't great. You'll probably melt some of the plastic. That's fine. That looks good enough. All right, now I'm just gonna move these into the correct position. These are gonna help make sure that the positive and negative wires don't touch each other. Got that. I'm gonna take my heat gun here. Crank that up. Just kind of wave this around. You'll see these uh, tubes start to shrink up. look pretty good. And our battery is now safely connected. Let's test the terminals and see if this uh, got connected correctly. Bring back this guy. And uh, just plug these in. Edges there. There we go, 3.92. Oops, I don't know if you can see that. Got our positive one goes here. There we go, we got a good connection, well done.